Good morning. My name is Jason Euler. I'm a member of the East Pennsboro uh, Area School District Board of School Directors. Uh, on behalf of the whole Board of Directors, I am pleased to welcome you to the 2022 graduation ceremony. I will also add that I am not just a school board member, but also a parent of a 2022 graduate, so I feel the excitement, pride, and relief in some instances that you all feel today. I ask you to please rise for staff and student processional and please remain standing for the national anthem, the alma mater, as well as the posting of the colors by our Navy JROTC cadets. Thank you.
detail. Halt. Wagon wheel. March. Detail. Halt. Forward. March. Hi everyone, my name is Haley Doan and it is my honor to speak as the president 
of East Pensbro's graduating class of 2022. I want to first begin by thanking all the teachers that have guided us along the way, all the coaches that pushed us harder than we ever thought we could go, and most importantly, all the parents and family members who have continued to support and encourage us in all of our life endeavors. And a special thanks to my brothers, Dylan and Dustin, who have taught me that laughter really is the best medicine. Now, graduates, our journey through school is truly unparalleled. It was like a family road trip to a far off destination, full of tremendous ups and downs and several winding roads. With the same fear and excitement of packing our luggage into the family van, we all carried our backpacks and boarded the bus on the first day of kindergarten. As we sat on our red squares, purple triangles, and yellow circles in elementary school, we experienced the greatest amount of simple, pure joy. We had a party for every holiday known to man. We learned to play the recorder at the expense of our family's hearing, and we walked hip and lip through the seemingly enormous hallways. And through the smell of up dog, we learned how to spell I cup and how to make rainbow loom bracelets. When middle school began, we were pushed to the middle seat of the family van. We had to run the mile, and we became subject to the school's new implementation of Chromebooks. To our dismay, Games of Agario and Snake were quickly blocked, but we still found outlets for entertainment. We got to experience the handiness of labs and extreme sobriety of outdoor recess. And just like the excitement of looking out your car window and seeing grazing cows, nothing can match the feeling of hearing that an ambitious squirrel was the reason we got to leave school early. Or the feeling of getting a personal handshake from Mr. Krieger himself. Or learning that the lunch for the day was mashed potato bowl. Then we were in the passenger seat of the van with the steering wheel just out of reach. We began high school in the same way any class before us did. <sighs> Experiencing the thrill of Mr. Morris's out aerobics and the sight of Wilmer's bare feet. Freshman year was scary, it was exciting, but most of all, it was normal. It would be the last normal school year of our lives. In the middle of sophomore year, we ran into a tremendous detour, COVID-19. We were forced to attend school from the desk in our rooms, or for most of us, the comfort of our beds. We would wake up at 7.29, grab our Chromebook from the side of our bed, and listen to Mulhauser's passionate shouts to change our screen names. That fear from when your teacher told you to turn on your camera, it can only be paralleled to the feeling of performing your gym dance final, or somehow forgetting about Mrs. Herb's weekly vocab test, or hearing that your sub was someone other than Mr. Tuchin. While I may not have retained a lot of information from online school, I did learn that the class of 2022 has the amazing ability to adapt to whatever is thrown at us. And I believe we would not have that ability without the love and support of our family. So we powered through. We have got to experience a successful senior sunrise and sunset, homecoming, mini-thon, prom, talent show, senior assassin, and now graduation. And somewhere along the way, on the bumpy highway of missed assignments and botched sleep schedules, we became a family. And as we graduate today, you are being taught the keys to the van, and it is in your hands to determine what path your road trip takes. As we anticipate what lies before us, let us take a moment to remember two people whose journeys were tragically cut short. Samo Torat was a fun-loving classmate and teammate who always had the biggest smile on her face and who successfully planted seeds of joy in every interaction she had. 
Trooper Estrite was an absolute rock star whose creativity and intelligence never failed to create a lasting impact on everyone who knew him. These two souls will not be forgotten as soundless seas continue to bloom and Cooper's chords continue to ring. I know that they are both watching over us today and will do so as we each move on to the next phase of our lives. And tonight, we are each moving toward our next destination. Many of you are heading to a college or university. For some, it's military service. Maybe you're going to trade school or directly into a career. For a few of you, the next destination is still a mystery. But no matter what path you follow, I want you to remember this, that you are important and you are loved. You deserve only the best, and I truly cannot wait to see what you all accomplish in the future. Thank you. Reminding us that we are too legit to quit, 
to Ms. Burkhart and her steadfast mentorship as we navigated our first AP exam. I think the most important one is not how to write a DBQ or how to calculate the velocity of a falling object, but rather the importance of appreciating what you have while you have it. Our high school years have shaped who we are, guide us in the now, and will stay with us forever. At this turning point in our lives, let us leave high school with this. We are always in the most exhilarating time, the time that holds the most possibility of all. The present, where we never know what the next moment will hold for us. And let us remember as we move forward that we should always take the time to appreciate the unlimited possibility of today for what it is and find beauty in all that we are and all that we've been. Thank you for being here today in this one exciting present moment. Good morning, I'm Ethan Gutchen. First, I would like to thank my mom for being here today and teaching me to persevere through challenges. And although he is no longer here, I would also like to thank my father for inspiring my curiosity about the world. Finally, I would like to thank the staff for selecting me as this year's faculty honor speaker. Remember when Mrs. Lawler would advise us a little dabble, do ya? When Mrs. Delp helped us remember the months with 30 days half September or when Mrs. Chandra taught us all students take calculus. Even if remembering the trig functions on the unit circle or using Elmer's glue isn't central to our future endeavors, these mnemonics will collectively live on in our minds. I'm sure many of us still find ourselves making an L with our fingers to determine left from right or writing tick marks on our paper to add numbers together. When we first walked through the seemingly gargantuan doors on the first day of kindergarten, we were only small saplings planted by our parents. But throughout elementary, middle, and high school, our teachers helped curate a forest of knowledgeable and determined individuals. In elementary school, we were taught which notes were on the lines and spaces on the treble clef. We learned the difference between igneous and sedimentary rocks, and about all the different types of polygons. Come middle school, we learned about Punnett squares and how to find the greatest common factor. And in high school, we were introduced to the world of Soka Toa, the Squeeze Theorem, and Bacon's Rebellion. However, it was what the PSSAs or the Keystones couldn't assess, the in-depth concepts and experiential lessons that stuck with us. Our teachers were responsible for not only watering the saplings we started out as, but also for pruning the branches of the knowledge-filled trees we developed into. Who could forget the lesson to never fall asleep in Mr. Bolton's classroom after fellow classmates were abruptly awoken by the crack of the big E on the hard science tables. What about when Mr. Todd taught us that the reason water remains inside a bucket attached to a string, swung around in a loop, is not because of centrifugal force, but because of the inertia of the water and the centripetal force provided by tension. Because of Mrs. Goodling's persistence, we learned about the existence of conical water towers, and we stopped forgetting to add the plus C after finding indefinite intervals. I'm sure Mrs. Green's statements about the weather have remained entrenched as well. Porque hace mucho calor ahora mismo. Many of us may lament that information school bestowed upon us will be of no use to us later in life. But the point of school is not to teach us about the mean value theorem, the electron transport chain, or even bomb calorimeters. Rather, it is to prepare us for learning and adapting to the ever-changing world on our own. Along with the help of our teachers, the meager saplings we once were 13 years ago are now independent trees whose branches encompass far more skills than they started with. School has trained us to wayfind through the jungle of new hallways. It has forced us to interact with new people, and it has taught us to put up with things we don't want to do. And even though it may have been frustrating some mornings to scurry through the front doors at 7.28 a.m., high school has also taught us time management. These are all skills necessary to survive in modern society, and without our teachers' guidance, anecdotes, and wisdom, we would be less equipped to work for a company, 
join the armed forces, start up a business, or succeed in college. Throughout high school, we have all thought about our futures and what they may bring. Although pondering the future may be intimidating, if we all hold on to the various lessons, mistakes, struggles, and accomplishments we have faced throughout school, we will absolutely have the ability to conquer the variety of challenges the world has waiting for us. And even though we all began school as small saplings, we have since developed into a thriving force. Thank you. Congratulations, 168 seniors. The accomplishments, the service, the experience. What defines this senior class, we may ask? Resilience, perseverance, overcoming two years of challenges through the pandemic. Each one of you has overcome your own set of obstacles through teamwork, collaboration, kindness, and love. We have seen many examples of love and caring in our school community, overcoming challenges. As the great philosopher Plato said, be kind for everyone you meet is fighting a hard battle. As your valedictorian, Addie Ziegler reminds us, take the time to appreciate the unlimited possibility of what today has for us. And what is most important as your class president, Haley Doan envisions, it is in your hands to determine what path the road trip follows. Most of all, as your faculty honor speaker, Ethan say, said, you will be able to conquer the variety of challenges that the world has waiting for you. Let's give thanks and appreciation for the members of our community who support our students on their journey. We are all here in celebrating commencement with the support of many people, most of all, in this year like no other, thank you to our great teachers and staff for your caring and dedication. Thank you for serving as models of kindness, optimism, and hope. Thank you to our families, our parents, caregivers for your sacrifice, your time, your energy, and unconditional love. The entire community of our first responders in the township our local businesses also have supported you. And as a community here in East Pennsboro, everybody cares about you. The East Pennsboro vision, relevance, passion, inspire success. Three simple but powerful concepts. These are our graduates here. 51% entering four-year college in the fall. 14% entering two-year trade technical colleges. 5% have attended our Cumberland Perry Vocational Technical School and hold technical industry certificates. 3% of our, our students are entering military service and we are so proud of you and your courage and your commitment to our nation. And 12% of our students graduating are beginning a job or career upon graduation and some of our students are undecided. Penn State, Lycoming, Pittsburgh, Bloomsburg, Misery Cordy, Shippensburg, Millersburg, St. Joseph's University, and Hack, trade colleges, service in the military, and beyond. These are some of the destinations for our students. Dear graduates, your life's journey has been well underway, and each one of you is unique and wonderful to the world. Be yourself and be that well. And I will close with this. I quote Martin Luther King Jr. We must discover the power of love, the power, the redemptive power of love. And when we discover that, 
We will be able to make this old world a new world. We will be able to make men better. Love is the only way, and remember, you are loved. Congratulations, class of 2022. Good morning. I'm Jonathan Booker, the high school principal. We will now recognize our top 20 students of the class of 2022. Please rise. In a very competitive class of high performers, these students nearly all had a GPA over 100%. Ladies and gentlemen, our top 20 students of the class of 22. I'm now pleased to recognize our salutatorian, Ethan Getchen. Now for our highest performing student of the class of 2022, I have the honor to recognize our valedictorian, Addie Ziegler. It is now my honor to recognize our brave students who have elected to serve our country through military service. Graduates be committing to serve in the U.S. Army, please rise and remain standing. Graduates be committing to serve in the U.S. Navy, including the U.S. Naval Academy, please rise and remain standing. <laughs> Graduates be committing to serve in the U.S. Marine Corps, please rise. Please give these graduates a round of applause for their future service to our country. <laughs> graduates of the class of 2022, so you've arrived at the day you've been waiting for for many years and one day. You are moments away from being an East Pennsboro graduate. As you reflect on your personal journey from the first day of kindergarten to your preteen years at the middle school and being king of the hill at the high school, I ask each of you the question, how did you get here? As you ponder how you got to today, think of the pivotal people in your life. I would venture to guess the people you identify are your parents, grandparents, coaches, and quite possibly a special teacher that made a huge difference in your journey. All these years later, I still remember the encouraging words from my second grade teacher, Mrs. Smith, saying, Jonathan, now you're cooking on all four burners. I forgot my multiplication tables correct for the first time. How about the teachers in your life? West Creekers, did you think about Mrs. Clark or Mrs. DeMartin? APE students, did Mrs. Garlinger Mrs. Bieber or Mr. Houts come to mind? What about Mr. Krieger or Mr. Yurik from the middle school? <laughs> Graduates, I would also ask you to look behind you and not forget your high school teachers who are here with you today. Hi guys. <laughs> Graduates, did you know our very own social studies teacher, Mrs. Martin, had numerous careers before becoming a teacher. She was an attorney, a human resource manager, and a vice president of a major corporation, all before becoming a teacher. When I asked Mrs. Martin why she chose teaching, she said, I was a successful attorney and businesswoman, and I, but I wanted to make a difference in people's lives. 
young people are our future leaders. So I decided to become a teacher so that I could help guide and teach them. Although I've been on many paths, teaching has been my most favorite, rewarding, and definitely most fun career. As you think of the other teachers that made a difference in your life, ask yourself, so why not me? Why not be a teacher? If you said teaching is hard, I would agree. Yes, it is. But the last two years have been The last two years have been the hardest years in modern education, yet this group of teachers are still here, helping you finish. Maybe you're thinking, yeah, but I won't get rich being a teacher. Well, maybe you're right, but there's nothing more rewarding than seeing a former student in the grocery store stopping to tell you how much of a difference you made in their life. To a teacher, these moments are priceless. Inspired by a commercial from teach.org, I ask you, when you were a little kid and thought about what you wanted to do when you grew up, was teaching at the top of your list? As you got older, did things change and teaching was not the best option anymore? Now you think you want to be something else, but what would your 12-year-old self say? Maybe you wanted to be a scientist. Have you heard of physics or chemistry? Who do you think teaches that? Or maybe you want to be an actor. Try playing a different role every time the bell rings. And remember, not just doctors and nurses save lives. Teachers save lives 25 at a time. Could you be the next generation of teachers that make the difference in the lives of our next kindergarten class? Will you be like your classmates, Carly Varner, Gavin Mitzdorfer, Alyssa Gillis, Madison Stodelak, Reagan Haley, Kirsten Sconiers, Josh Euler, and Kaya Miranda, who have already committed to being the next generation of teachers. Today I'm planting the seed so when time is right, you remember to give back to your community and be the difference. In closing, I leave you with the simple advice from teach.org. Great things are happening in teaching. And it's time to put teaching back on your list. Don't convince yourself otherwise because your 12-year-old self would say you had it right the first time. So when the time is right, be a teacher. Thank you. At this time, I'd ask Dr. Dunar to join me for the certification of graduates. Graduates, graduates please stand. Mr. Booker, as the class of 2022 met the requirements of graduation set forth by the East Panther Area School District. Dr. Dunar, 168 students have met all the requirements for graduation. Graduates, please be seated. As we begin the diploma presentation to the graduates of the class of 2022, we ask that you hold your applause until each row of graduates have been announced. Our students and their families have worked extremely hard to hear the names of their graduates announced. There will be an opportunity for applause as we finish each row. Thank you.
Haley Doan. Andrea Magero. Yeah, Andrea. Adeline Ziegler. Susanna Magero. Ethan Getchen. Emma R. Cyber. Joshua Euler. Alexis Erdman. Emmett Miller. Alyssa Gillis. Zachary White. Kaylin Gebhardt. Zeb Kalb. JC Ellen Welsh. Braden Wentel. Allison Buffington. Philip Cologne. Megan Stover. Ian Mulraney. Molly Ann Swope. Benjamin Starner. Leah Carey Miller. Jeffrey Parker. Allison Helene Nestor. Jordan Spadafore. Chloe Claypool. Nicholas Kirkesner. Gabrielle Rentschler. Josie Schermeyer. Gentlemen, please join me in congratulating these graduates. Thank you. DJ Kashner. Kirsten Sconyers. Cyrell Burgos. Grace Gills. Jacob Dean. Olivia Herring. Jaren Bowles. Jalen Serenity Morales. Will 
Bregunier. Emma Lauren Orr. AJ Knipe. Ellie K. Blosser. Ryan Allgott. Marissa L. Shell. Josh Steinhardt. Sophia Panagakis. Xander Ziders. Jasmine Johnson. Jeremy Hampshire. Savannah Marie Kramer. Liam DiFilippo. Inara Laraquinte Alavincia. Isaiah Carney. Alyssa Chernov. Ethan Isaiah Campbell. Elijah Fletcher. Sierra Balance. Minna Elobay. Colton Hack. Lillian Christina Marshall. Timmy Yance. Haven Larray Kellogg. Sincere Sanchez. Harmony Alexis Dawson. Chase Schlum. Annie Smith. Cody Hilbish. Reagan Haley. Francisco Serta. Isabella R. Isbell. That's my best friend! Kanan Henry. Aya Zorgani. Yeah, 
Ethan Bush. Pooja Patel. Christopher Orris. Michelle Wynn. Carter Strickler. Isabella B. Kill. Isar Elmofti. Danielle Miller. Jarrett Hoon. Sarah Turner. Shenlong He. Freya Ramsur. Arvir Singh. Jasmine Marie Dudley. <laughs> Olivia Ozio. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating these graduates. Thank you. Pennington. Michaela Kelly. Gaddy Dimaisen. Lexi Olive Lambert. William Myers. Aaron Solfus. Anthony Hun. Stella Phillips. Anthony Human Oliveira. Madison Stodelak. Alexander Evitz. Caitlin Stodelak. Dominic Natel. Jesse Page Smith. Daniel Salazar. <laughs> Mackenzie McKenna. Sagoon Budatoki. Anna Sinzaba. <laughs> Basu Regni. <laughs> Maddie Elizabeth Beauchamp. <laughs> Eric Trong. <laughs> Emil 
Amelia Croger. Kobe Huang. Carly Barner. Clayton Ackroyd. Sierra Rao. Devin Urick. Kayla Marie Hartman. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating these graduates. Braden Campbell. Lily Hivner. Elijah McKell. Paige Bauer. Miguel Vincent Retuerto. Isabella Heckman. Rodney Filoni. Sarah Lynn Wrightstone. Logan Kramer. Lead Smalley. Grace Margaret Clapper. Logan Bates. Kaya Annalise Miranda. Adrian Hoffman. Taylor. Joshua Hornbaker. Hannah Bender. <laughs> Connor Pricer. <laughs> Jonathan Yurchek. Justin Moore. <laughs> Evelina Holoku. Brett Myers. Nora Cater. Kyle J. Dolben. Salona Macia. Cooper Estrite.
Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating these graduates. Thank you. Donovan Dignazio. Christian Rantaria. Hunter Beaver. Jonah Corbin. Hunter Richmond. Austin Coffee. Braden Pipple. Ryan Lavender. Lewis Rainey. Dylan Luther. Adam Ferry. Gavin Stephen Paul Mitzdarfer. <laughs> Alex Cather. Please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the East Pensboro Area High School Class of 2022. Thank <laughs> you. 
find mine. What is this? I don't know. 